We begin with breaking news at noon. Orlando Mitchell just wrapped up his first court appearance for the death of Marion County Sheriff's Deputy John Durham. Mitchell is now charged with murder, robbery resulting in serious bodily injury and escape. A special judge is handling Mitchell's case because Durham's killing took place on courthouse property. In the brief hearing this morning, the judge read charges against Mitchell and advised him of his rights. The judge also made sure attorneys are qualified to work on a death penalty case. Before dismissing today's hearing, the judge set a pre-trial hearing for September 8th. We will have a complete wrap up of today's hearing tonight on 13 News starting at 5. Yesterday, prosecutors talked about their decision to pursue the death penalty against Mitchell. Our Logan Gay has been coming through court documents to learn how the prosecutor's office came to this decision. The Marion County prosecutor Ryan Muir says they didn't make the decision to pursue the death penalty lightly, but given the circumstances, they believe it's the right thing to do. During a press conference Thursday, Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Muir says there are four statutory aggravators that make Orlando Mitchell eligible for the death penalty. The defendant committed the murder of the deputy at the time. Uh, the defendant was in the custody of the Marion County Sheriff, which is one statutory aggravator. The second statutory aggravator is uh, the defendant uh, killed a law enforcement officer as they were acting in the course of their duties. The third aggravator is the defendant committed the murder by intentionally killing uh, the officer while he was committing the crime of robbery. And the fourth and final aggravator is the defendant uh, has uh, previously committed a murder at the time of this murder. Investigators say the attack happened in the inmate intake area on the Community Justice Campus after Deputy John Durham picked up Mitchell from a hospital visit. Officials say surveillance video shows Mitchell attacking Durham from behind, choking the deputy with a chain from his handcuffs. Documents say Mitchell's handcuffs were connected to his belly chain, but the belly chain was no longer around his waist. Police tell us Mitchell used a key to free himself from his handcuffs and took off with a transport van. He later crashed it into a light pole just outside the community justice campus. He has no business, if convicted, to ever step foot out of a jail cell again. And our commitment to you, Mr. Prosecutor, is that the INPD will do everything that we can to assist you and your deputies to make sure that we get a conviction in all three of these incidents. The Marion County Sheriff says they are investigating whether there is anything they could have done better. With only one deputy, is there times that we do more with less staff than we do and people make tough decisions? Yeah, probably. They hope these changes send a message to anyone else who might consider harming a law enforcement officer. It needs to be known that in this community, if you kill a law enforcement officer, you should be willing to sacrifice your life. It's on the books for a reason. Prosecutor Ryan Mears tells us seeking the death penalty can extend the time period of this case, and he expects it to be a lengthy process. In the newsroom, Logan Gay, 13 News. This weekend, services begin for Deputy John Durham. On Sunday, the public can pay their respects during a visitation at the Scottish Rite Cathedral downtown. This runs from 2 until 7. On Monday, Deputy Durham will be laid to rest. His funeral begins at 11 Monday morning at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Here's a look at the planned procession route starting from Gamebridge. It will head to the CJC campus, pausing at the memorial for Deputy Durham for the final 1042 call, and then make its way to Crown Hill Cemetery for his burial. We do have all of this information online for you right now at WTHR.com, and we'll of course have full coverage right here on Channel 13 throughout the weekend.